As a clipper slash editor myself who's been making videos for over a year now, I wanted to create a tutorial guide for those who want to try out clipping. Hello, I'm Not Augustus and I've made clips, highlight videos, fan content, and shift posts. I specifically like to clip Yuji Sanchi Ian's branch Luxium or Luki Kaneshiro because I'm a giant simp of his. So, as a disclaimer, I'm not really aware of the differences between clipping or editing for regular YouTubers, company VTubers, and indies. Everything I'll talk about is based only on my experiences and thoughts so far. With that being said, this video will be divided up into four main parts with smaller sections that you can refer to in the chapter timestamps I've included. So buckle up, take some notes, grab a snack, maybe even take a little piss before starting because I've compiled a lot of information for the newbie clippers out there. What does it mean to be a clipper? This is probably the most important aspect of being a clipper. So ask yourself, why do you want to be a clipper? Is it because you're simp like me and you wanted to record your favorite moments? Or maybe you want to build a professional portfolio so you can work as an editor in the future. Despite what your reasons may be, I want you to keep in mind to not expect anything in return for your clips. Meaning, you shouldn't expect your Oshi to notice you just because you're clipping them. And you shouldn't feel as though you're above other fans just because you're a clipper, no matter how big or how small your channel is. Once you start chasing for things like more recognition, higher reviews and subscribers, you might end up putting yourself in a really bad mental state from not meeting the expectations that you've put on yourself. So remember the golden rule and take care of yourself when you're editing videos. How to clip and edit I'd like to request for every clipper to include a section in their about me or a video description for the tools you use because it can be really helpful for new clippers that are looking at your channel. I'm asking because when I started, I could barely find any information on how to clip or what is commonly used. I mean, that's why this video exists now. So let's talk about the tools for clipping and editing. For recording parts of a stream, these are the tools I've used myself and seen other clippers use. If you use one that isn't listed here, please feel free to comment about it and I can edit the video description to include it. For editing software, these were the most popular ones I came across. You can try to edit your clips with, I don't know, <laughs> Windows Movie Maker, iMovie, it just depends on how you want to edit your videos and what is available for you. For me personally, I work on my MacBook Pro laptop and I'm currently using the iPhone screen recording feature to clip, DaVinci Resolve for editing, CapCut for auto captioning longer videos, and YTPDL for downloading videos and audios. This one might be a little confusing for those who aren't comfortable with working on the command line, so feel free to use free website services to download media sources. Originally, when I started out, I used OBS for screen recording and for more to edit, and then I never used it again. <laughs> you can check out my oldest video to witness the beginning of my Clipper career. I have another video planned for talking about my editing evolution, process, and tips, so look out for that. Every tool has its pros and cons, so feel free to explore and see what sticks with you. If you want more details on the tools I've recommended, along with extra resources, everything will be linked in the description below. Clip types and editing styles. I wanted to categorize clip types I've seen to talk about the diversity of clippers. So here are the three categories I've seen. The first being raw clips. Raw clips are clipped directly from the stream and then posted online. This is probably the fastest method for clipping. I've mostly seen these types of clips on Twitter and when posting on YouTube, be careful to not upload your clip before the stream VOD has finished processing. This is to prevent any copyright claim issues. Next would be regular clips. This is the common type of clip you would see on YouTube where there are subtitles and minimal edits like trimming. These are usually the most common I would say in delivering clip content. Last but not least, we have what I call edited clips. This is where a clipper is building off of the original content, whether it's adding funny memes, sound effects, providing visuals for a scenario, etc. The clipper enhances the experience of the original clip. Many clippers add these clips to their editing portfolios, which help them get commission work by other creators or even the libraries themselves. I hope this gives you an idea of what kind of clips you can make. There's no need to make the perfect clip from the start, so take your time to experiment and improve. Now, if you want to grow your channel or take it to the next level, I'm going to talk about some recognizable traits you can do to stand out. I'll provide examples by describing some clippers in the community. 
There are some notable clippers in the Nijisanji Inan community that you might be able to tell based on their recognizable traits. Let's start with editing styles. Sapa the Memer. Personally, this is my clipper Oshi, and they seem to specialize in longer highlight videos with really wacky editing. It's honestly so amazing how they elevate the experience of the original moments in their lengthy highlight videos. Pog. Pog uses a lot of PNG animations which really bring life to their clips. I think doing this kind of editing and detail takes a lot of work, which is why I wanted to mention the variety in editing styles because it's so impressive to see what editors can do. Gyunyu. Gyu's clips is what happens when you drink 3 energy drinks and decide to edit at 4am in the morning. It's very chaotic and attention catching, but it's a very unique editing style that definitely stands out in comparison to other editing styles. These were just the first 3 I thought of, but let me know if you have a favorite editing style you like from a clipper. And definitely tell me if it's me. <laughs> it's amazing to see how editors transform the original content, but editing style is not the only thing that can make you stand out. For example, thumbnails. A lot of clippers use model PNGs or fan art, but remember that you must give permission to the artist. Please respect them, we do not respect stolen work. With thumbnails, you could create a unique design that allows you to be recognizable. Like this one, for example. Whenever I see their thumbnails, I know instantly that it's their clip. You could also draw your thumbnails, which I think takes a lot of work, but it definitely sets you apart from other clippers. As for titling, it's really up to you. I personally don't like to add the whole Niji Sanji Ian part to the title, but it probably helps people find your videos if you're a new clipper. For channel activity, some clippers like to upload on a scheduled basis for consistency. Some might try to upload at a specific time and upload daily. This allows them to create a flow of clips for viewers to look forward to, but be careful with managing this kind of schedule. It can be harmful and create a lot of stress for the clipper. And personally, I don't think clippers should ever apologize for taking breaks or not clipping because clipping should be enjoyable for both the clipper and the viewer. You do not owe anyone anything. So don't be hard on yourself when you're not consistent or active. Your well-being and enjoyment when making clips always comes first. And I mean that. This is not exactly clipper related, but I still wanted to mention it anyways the topic of fan content. You don't have to only be a clipper or you don't have to be a clipper to contribute to the community. I'm more of a casual clipper so everything I do is for fun. Others have created fan art, animation videos, fan mixes, covers, and much more. You can also contribute in other ways like fan projects, mostly run by fan discords. Oh, and don't forget about the time stampers. These guys are so valuable. They will timestamp live and are ready to post the timestamps right to when the stream ends. That's a lot of commitment to have, especially for a long stream. And I just want to say that a lot of clippers rely on these timestampers. So thank you so much, timestampers. We really appreciate you. As we reach the end of this tutorial, I hope that my knowledge was helpful to you and that you feel a bit better in starting your clipper journey. And once again, everything is linked in the description. So. Uh, if you have any more resources or anything that you want to add, please comment below. If you're a clipper watching this, like, please give your own advice too in the comments for other people to see. If you do end up clipping after watching this tutorial, please tell me. I want to see your clips. Get out there and start simping.